come, O radiant dawn, splendor of the morning light. Come, son of justice, turn away the power of night. Christ, circle round us. Christ, may your light surround us. Shine in our living, fill our hearts with great thanksgiving. Come, O oh flower of love, holy branch of Jesse's tree. Come, bow of blessing, bloom for all the world to see. Christ, circle round us, Christ, may your light surround us, shine in our living, fill our hearts with great thanksgiving. Come, O oh word of truth, font of knowledge from on high, come, holy wisdom be our faithful friend and guide. Christ, circle round us. Christ, may your light surround us. Shine in our living. Fill our hearts with great thanksgiving. Come, O gate of hope, Throne. Come, key of David, open wide our pathway home. Christ, circle round us. Christ, may your light surround us. Shine in our living. Fill our hearts with great thanksgiving. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brother and sister, in the spirit of Advent, in the spirit of waiting, of expectation, let us bring ourselves into the presence of the Lord, the God who is love, compassion, and forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ eleison, Christ eleison. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Kyrie May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant your faithful, we pray, Almighty God, the resolve to run forth to meet your Christ with righteous deeds at his coming, so that gathered at his right hand they may be worthy to possess the heavenly kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. 
A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. You, Lord, are our Father, our Redeemer. You are named forever. Why do you let us wander, O Lord, from your ways, and harden our hearts so that we fear you not? Return for the sake of your servants, the tribes of your heritage. Oh, that you would rend the heavens and come down with the mountains quaking before you. While you wrought awesome deeds we could not hope for, such as they had not heard of from of old. No ear has heard, no eye has seen, any God but you doing such deeds for those who wait for him. Would that you would meet us doing right, that we were mindful of you in our ways. Behold, you are angry and we are sinful. All of us have become like unclean people. All our good deeds are like polluted rags. We have all withered like leaves and our guilt carries us away like the wind. There is none who calls upon your name who rouses himself to cling to you. For you have hidden your face from us and have delivered us up to our guilt. Yet, O Lord, you are our Father, we are the clay and you the potter. We are all the work of your hands. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. From your throne upon the cherubim shine forth. Rouse your power and come to save us. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face and we shall be saved. Once again, O Lord of hosts, look down from heaven and see. Take care of this vine and protect what your right hand has planted. The Son of Man, whom you yourself made strong. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face. And we shall be saved. May your help be with the man of your right hand, with the Son of Man whom you yourself made strong. Then we will no more withdraw from you. Give us new life and we will call upon your name. Lord, make us turn to you, let us see your face, and we shall be saved. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I give thanks to my God always on your account for the grace of God bestowed on you in Christ Jesus, that in him you were enriched in every way with all discourse and all knowledge, as the testimony to Christ was confirmed among you 
so that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift as you wait for the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. He will keep you firm to the end, irrepro irreproachable on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful, and by him you were called to fellowship with his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. The word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Show us, Lord, your love, and grant us your salvation. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus said to his disciples, Be watchful, be alert. You do not know when the time will come. It is like a man traveling abroad. He leaves home and places his servants in charge each with his own work, and orders the gatekeeper to be on the watch. Watch, therefore, you do not know when the Lord of the house is coming, whether in the evening or at midnight, or as cock road, or in the morning. May he not come suddenly and find you sleeping. What I say to you, I say to all, watch. The Gospel of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, in this first Sunday of Advent, we are entering into a new modality of the life of faith, the modality of expectation, of hope, of, of waiting for the eternal life, for the life of the world to come. But at the same time, let us examine the meaning of waiting in the light of our faith. Because the meaning of waiting with faith take on a different, different way, a different uh, thing altogether. It gives us a different understanding, a different outlook. The first disposition of waiting in our faith is the waiting of the already. The second disposition is a waiting of the not yet. Already and not yet. Why do I say that? The already is the act of revelation of the coming, of the salvation, of the death, the resurrection, the person of Jesus Christ in the historical standpoint. In that standpoint, Jesus has already come in the past, but that coming never, never stopped. It's always being poured out on the altar for us Every single time we go and engage in the act of worship 
at the altar. At the same time, that coming become concrete within our soul, our being, at the point of baptism, the reception of the divine life, the reception of God's spirit in our soul and in our heart, that reception allows us to worship God in our being. That coming has already made fruit within us, has already been part of our life, our faith, and our journey. But at the same time, that continuation of faith is in itself a longing, a expectation, a waiting. At the same time, it gives us a sense of God's being, God's presence. It's imbued within us a sense of God's grace and God's love in our life. The second disposition of waiting is the disposition of the not yet, of the future coming, of the coming of Jesus in the last day. We profess in our faith that Jesus is coming again in the act of putting together the order of the universe according to the holiness of God. That second coming speaks to us that of the last day, but personally speaking, that second coming speaks to us of the ultimate reality of our life, which is the confrontation of death. The conf confrontation of death is the part of a human existence, of the human life, but at the same time, our faith gives us an, a different understanding. Our faith prepares us, gives us the, the understanding that Jesus is the Lord of life in our confrontation of death. Because he entered into our death and give that death the, the overpowering presence of the Lord of life, the conquering of death, within the person of Jesus. Brothers and sisters, that is the notion of waiting that we are about to be journeyed together for the next four weeks, but also for the, for the rest of our life. The preparation to confrontation of death with the, with the understanding of the, our, the resurrection of, of our whole body in the last day. Brothers and sisters, those are two dispositions of waiting that we are invited to understand. The understanding of the waiting of the already and of the not yet. But at the same time, what is give us is a deeper understanding, is a deeper spirit, it deepens our encounter with that voice, the still voice within us, that continue to invite us to be there, to come into the presence of our God, who come to come to worship God in each and every moment of our life, and in a concrete way at this altar. Brothers and sisters, this is the meaning of Advent. This is a journey of, of our life. This is a journey of the faith that we receive. This is a journey of God's love, God's compassion, and God's forgiveness, God's presence within our soul, so that we we can be we can be confident of our salvation. We are we can be confident of our resurrection through the person of Jesus Christ, we are confident of our faith in the world.
I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, God substantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified on the Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We are people waiting expectantly for the light of the Christ. Let us search our hearts and give voice to our needs as we offer these petitions. Our response will be, Come, Lord Jesus. For a spirit of genuine repentance within the church, may we return to God with our whole heart and mind. Let us pray to the Lord. Come, Come Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus. For all the faithful, may all the faithful remain watchful and ready as we wait in joyful hope for Christ's return. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, come, come Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus. For our world, may people everywhere learn to care for one another regardless of nationality or creed. Let us pray to the Lord. Come, come Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus. For those lacking shelter during the cold winter months, that they find ways to keep warm and protected. Let us pray to the Lord. Come, Come Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus. For those working to develop treatments to combat coronavirus, may their efforts soon provide relief to those who are afflicted with this disease. Let us pray to the Lord. Come, Come Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus. For an outpouring of spiritual gifts upon the family life and formation ministry, May our parishioners experience deeper fellowship with Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Come, Come Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus. For those among us who are sick in body, mind, or spirit, for those listed in the parish bulletin, and especially Michael Ellen Hall, Victor Hugo Lopez, Danielle Butler, Gilma Palacios, Peggy Land, Tim Hoy, Anita Everest. May God comfort them and restore them to health. Let us pray to the Lord. Come, Lord Jesus. For all who have died, especially Ramona Martinez Rios, Adriana Cantu Alvarado, Joan Beamer, Jose Cruz Ruiz, Kelly Servino, may they forever experience joy with Christ in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Come, Lord Jesus. For the special intention of Barbie Beltran, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Come, Lord Jesus. O oh God, may every person within the Diocese of Orange come to personally know and love our Lord Jesus Christ. May they grow in maturity as a missionary disciple of Christ, become actively engaged in the full life and mission of the Church, and joyfully use his or her gifts to share the good news and build up the kingdom of God for the salvation of souls. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The King shall come when morning dawns and 
my triumphant praise when beauty gilds the eastern hills and life to joy awakes not as of old a little child to bear and fight and Crowned with glory like the sun that lights the morning sky. Oh, brighter than the rising morn when he victorious rose and left the lonesome place of death. Despite the rage of foes, oh, brighter than that glorious morn shall this fair morning be when Christ our King in beauty comes and we his face shall see. The King shall come. Christ the Lord, thy people pray, come quickly, King of Kings, come quickly, King of Kings. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours might be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make, gathered from among your gifts to us, and may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us the price of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right it truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, in the highest. Hosanna in the highest, in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest, in the highest. Hosanna in the highest, in the highest. Are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, 
so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, the fatiguing of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Kevin our Bishop, his brother Bishop Timothy and Tan, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy will be done on earth as is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin 
and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. They offer each other the sign of peace. Jesus, Lamb of God, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us, have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, Savior of the world, have mercy on us, have mercy on us. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Your light will come, Jerusalem, for on you will dawn the glory of the Lord, and all nations will walk in your light. Alleluia, alleluia. Christ is the light of the world, a light dispelling the darkness. May we, his body, reflect that holy light. Your light will come, Jerusalem, for on you will dawn the glory of the Lord, and all nations will is mercy and peace, a peace surpassing all telling. May we, his body, be instruments of peace. Your light will come, Jerusalem, for on you will dawn the glory of the Lord. And all nations will walk in your light. Alleluia, alleluia. His light is justice and truth, a love which casts out all hatred. May we, his body, prepare the reign of God. Jerusalem, for on you will dawn the glory of the Lord, and all nations will walk in your light. Alleluia, 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 alleluia.
and ask the spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray. For even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May, almighty, may the Almighty and merciful God, by whose grace you have placed your faith, in the first coming of his only begotten Son, and yearn for his coming again, sanctify you by the radiance of Christ's advent and enrich you with his blessing. Amen. Amen. As you run the race of this present life, may he make you firm in faith, joyful in hope, and active in charity. Amen. Amen. So that rejoicing now with devotion at the Redeemer's coming in the flesh, you may be endowed with the rich reward of eternal life, when he comes again in majesty. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thank you, God. Saint Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, turn us into hell, Satan, and the other evil spirits who prowl about the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Find us ready, Lord, not standing still. Find us working and loving and doing your will. Find us ready, Lord, faithful in love. Building the kingdom that's here and above. Building the kingdom mercy and love. We must wait for the Lord, for we know not the time. So here and today, we gather to pray, discover us ready, Lord, not standing still. Find us working and loving and doing your will. Find us ready, Lord, faithful in love. Building the kingdom that's here and above. Building and love. We must make straight the path God's love revealed with sin cast
cast aside God's mercy alive Fear not, for here is your God Find us ready, Lord Not standing still Find us working and loving and doing your will. Find us ready, Lord, faithful in love. Building the kingdom that's here and above. Building the kingdom of mercy and love. up those bowed down we prepare for our God rejoice in the Lord for hope has been born in hearts where our God finds a home find us ready Lord not standing still Find us working and loving and doing your will. Find us ready, Lord, faithful in love. Building the kingdom that's here and above. Building the kingdom of mercy. ready Lord not standing still find us working and loving and doing your will find us ready Lord faithful in love building the kingdom that's here and above building the kingdom of mercy and love. 